Oh boy. Oh boy, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, oh boy. All right, uh, welcome welcome back to the channel. Uh, as my ever my ever growing battle with lighting continues, I'm gonna try to make this one work for you guys. All right, uh, welcome back to the channel. It happened, it's happened. Uh, I'm still at 100, probably 50 beats a minute, because I just like literally raced off for my morning workout, my morning Peloton, came here, mixed my transparent labs, hydrate, creatine, and carb pattern, link below, check them out. Good for golf and working out. Anyways, and I'm just like huffing and puffing, because not only am I spiked up, from the workout, but I'm spiked up from what's finally happened. We've been waiting a week for this. All, if you haven't been following the story, good, good, announced, sort of, through Matt Fisher, they're not going to the to the YouTube Masters. Rick had been talking about it, we're not going. They they said it, they told Matt Kendrick's CEO, told Matt Fisher, and then Matt Kendrick's CEO reached out to me, basically told me, we're not going, we're not going, here's why. So, we were all upset, we were all upset. The community of YouTube Golf, we want crossover, we want this, we want, if the biggest creator in YouTube Golf is hosting a YouTube Golf tournament, we need the second biggest group in YouTube Golf to be there, especially because they make up six of the biggest people of YouTube, five of the biggest people of YouTube Golf. Anyways, so that was that was bad, that was sad. Now, the update from Rick has arrived officially. He's talked about it on his podcast like we predicted. And there's some nuggets in there, there's some exciting things in there, not just for your boy, but also in general. So if you enjoy this content, hit that subscribe button. Uh, I'm here. I, I refuse to ever make plans in my life before I know if there's news to cover for you guys. I'm committed to this. This came out, in, to my knowledge, like hours ago, not even, and uh, we're on it. It's not even on YouTube yet. I got the Spotify exclusive version. Um, all right, we're going to listen to this together. Let's stop talking and let's just go through it because it's like four minutes. So bear with me here. So, all right, let's go. Been a lot of questions around another huge golf tournament this year. This year, we've hinted, and we talked about it quite a bit in last, last week's episode, of the YouTube tournament. Mm -hmm. The golf YouTube tournament hosted by... Okay, let's just pause right there real quick. The golf YouTube... It's not a YouTube Masters anymore. That's kind of funny. He doesn't address why he's all of a sudden not calling it the YouTube Masters anymore. Whether it's Matt Fisher's video kind of pointing it out or whether that maybe sparked Augusta to be like, hey bro, yeah, no, you can't call it the YouTube Masters. We kind of all knew this was coming. It's no longer, I guess, the YouTube Masters. It's the, U the YouTube tournament. I'm sure there'll be a creative name coming soon. Yours truly, Rick Shields. Mm -hmm. And there's been rumors online there's been, there's been conspiracy theories even. Yep. I, would, I would go as far as saying. Yeah. Okay. I want to clear up a few things. All right? Mm -hmm. At the moment, we have still got plans to run the biggest golf YouTube tournament this year. Mm. There are still plans and conversations around how every single big golf YouTube channel will play in this huge golf tournament this year. I've heard online so no, people can't come. Baloney. <laughs> Baloney. <laughs> um, there's conversations happening and bubbling and surfacing mm -hmm. underneath all of... Un underneath this table. laptop. In this no, laptop. In this laptop. There are conversations I'm looking at right now which would squash... Ow. Oh, wow. I actually thought it was going to be louder and softer. <laughs> <laughs> Squash these theories. So, Nate Edwardson, you're going to have a field day. He's going to be chuffed with that mention. You have a field day. So, it's not over. Until it's over. This year, on my word, <sighs> there will be a golf YouTube tournament with every one of your biggest named golf YouTubers Playing in it. I mean, there's just a lot to unpack there. Just a lot to unpack there. And you guys know when big YouTube creators, specifically Rick Shields, on his golf show, say Nate Everton, my name. Yeah, that's right, guy. I get chopped. I don't even think I know what that means. And in, in here, that means your thighs are rubbing together. I don't really know what that means. I'm a yeah. That's fuck. That's whoo That's something. All right. Anyway, um, number one, rumors. I mean, they're not really rumors. Matt Kendrick, the CEO of Google, was the one who fed Matt Fisher and I this information that they're not going. Like that, that was not really a rumor when Matt Kendrick says it, but I would assume, okay, and also if any of you didn't catch it, he's talking about Google. They're being a little bit like, whew, but they're talking about Google. They're basically what this says to me is Rick Shields heard Google not coming, went, 
uh oh, and went, we need good good, we want good good to be here. Now, it's not we need good good, because it's Rick Shields, it's the biggest YouTube golf creator on planet Earth. He can have amazing, successful tournament, make a boatload of money, do whatever he wants, make money for charity, whatever he's trying to do. He can do that on his own, right? He can have Nate Edwards in there, and he can have um, Grant Horvat, and I'm not on the same one. Anyway, he can have a bunch of people there. He can be successful without Good Good being there. He doesn't need Good Good. But this guy, you wanna talk about a man of the people? I know that's my whole thing. Man of the people, making videos for the people, by the people, representing the people. This guy's a man of the people right now, because he is literally, this is what I'm taking from this. He is going to change everything about this, his plans for this tournament to accommodate Good Good being there. Because he realizes, he didn't need them to be there, but he realizes how impactful, influential this collaboration would be, this content would be, if he can genuinely bring together all of the biggest creators. He's gonna do it right. He's gonna put himself out to do it right by the people and for the people to create legitimately the biggest YouTube golf event of all time. I mean, what else can you say about this guy? What else can you say about this guy? He deserves the crown. We give him his flowers. Like Rick gets his flowers. He deserves the crown as the biggest. This is a this is an OG move. This is like a I care about the community move. This isn't I care about ones and twos, dollars, whatever. This is, he could have a massive tournament, do everything he wants without Good Good. Yeah, you might think that like Good Good being there is like so, but it's for the community. It's for the viewing experience. It's for the potential of these tournaments to be successful down the road. And he sees that. Man, so this could mean a lot of things. This could mean, I mean, Good Good said they're not going back to the UK this year. It does not fit in their schedule. So if Rick's going to accommodate them, does that mean this tournament could be moving to the States? I mean, that'd be better for like a lot of creators probably because it's less travel, me included. Um, I'm happy to go to the UK. I love the UK, but I'm just saying it would make it easier for some. But then also there's a whole host of YouTube content creators in the UK that Rick is obviously very good friends with, coming up with, came up with, whatever. So who knows? But that's one of the, I guess, speculations you can make. But nevertheless, Rick's saying that that is, he's going to... That's huge. That's a huge move by this guy. Um, and yeah, I mean, shouting me out once again. That's just... I, that's never going to get old. That's never act like you've been there before. Never. I started this channel five, six months ago. Five, six months ago. Rick Shield's biggest creator in YouTube golf. I've been mentioned on his podcast twice now. One time he called me brilliant. This time he said I'm going to have a field day with it. <sighs> that's the news. That's the update. Oh, boy. Let me know your thoughts and comments below. Bye.